Moose the Mad here, and today I've got a video for you about the forfeit exploit for operations. Um, so I don't think this is the intended way that the developers intended you to play the game, but um, a lot of people I see asking about how to get rank 6 weapons, how to get the best gear in the game and that sort of thing. Um, and I think this is probably the best way or the, the easiest way currently to get the best gear in the game, or the fastest way. Um, so I'd heard about this forfeit exploit um, around the Discord and stuff, but I wasn't sure exactly what it what it was. Um, but one of the guys in chat, um, Yarek, thanks Yarek, um, explained it for us. And um, we did some testing and I think I've got kind of the best way to go about it that I'm gonna explain for you now. Um, so basically what the, ex what the forfeit exploit is, is um, when you go into an operation, so you'll, um, you'll choose, you click up here, You'll choose an operation and it'll initially give you a choice of, of difficulty. Um, um, this is a deadly operation, but it doesn't matter what, um, you know, the low, lower level ones will give you lesser rewards, but um, so I recommend you do it on deadly. It's pretty doable with the AI being as weak as it is, um, but, uh, but yeah, up to you. You can do it on any difficulty. Um, and basically you come in here and you choose from different missions. Um, if to say we choose this one, then um, the enemy gangs will also choose missions. If they happen to one of them happens to choose the same mission as me, we'll have a battle. Whoever wins will get a portion of these um, objectives, whatever they manage to capture, and then that will add on to your tally here, which will keep um, carrying over throughout the missions in the in this um, sector until um, the end of the sector. And then, depending on how much of the um, of the objectives you manage to capture, you'll get these rewards. So, if you get over 390, you'll get four reward caskets and 2,000 uh, credits for finishing this operation. So, so that's all fine. But especially on deadly, it can take you sort of eight or more um, individual missions to actually finish a sector. So the thing with the forfeit um, exploit is that you only generally have to fight about you know, two to three missions to finish a sector and you can still um, potentially win it um, or at least get the, at least get the, um, the basic win of getting the 235 or whatever it is for your particular sector to get the one casket. Um, so basically how it works is you select, you select one of these. If um, none, no other gangs choose that one and you get an, uh, you get an uncontested one, you just take the, uh, take the objective rewards and you're fine. If one of the other gangs does <coughs> choose the same um, sector as you, um, instead of fighting the battle, you just you just forfeit the match. So you, what will happen then is that you'll lose the match. You won't get any objectives, and um, all of your all of the members of your team will have a, a chance to lose their weapons and also get an injury. So obviously you don't want your main team getting injuries and losing all their weapons. So what you do is you just create a secondary team. So we just hire um, a couple of random guys here. Just uh, the lowest rank that you can get is fine. Um, doesn't matter what career we choose, just get whatever you want. Um, but you will need a leader, so you just promote one of them to leader. Choose that. Yeah. If you want to save a bit of extra cash, you can unequip all their weapons. And then you just make this your active crew. So these three, um, three is the minimum that you need, including a leader, to go into an operation. So make these your active crew. Then you go back into here, choose your mission, go choose. And then the enemy gangs will choose their missions. <clears throat> Have to wait a moment. Um, yeah, and now we've seen we've got an enemy here. Um, but and then we um, go into the match. But when the match loads um, during the initial uh, placement stage, where you choose where your fighters um, are going to be uh, deployed on the map, you can just press Escape. And it'll bring up a menu, and then you can just press Forfeit from that screen. Um, let's just wait a bit for it to load. Um, here we go. So we skip that, and then as soon as the enemy has chosen their position, um, you just press escape and then press forfeit. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're sure. <clears throat> now our three gangers that we brought into the match will now get some injuries, um, potentially lose their weapons. We didn't score any of the resources. <clears throat> And um, and then we're back in the um, then we're back at the end screen here. We didn't get any resources. See our characters take some injuries, etc. Um, now um, yes, yeah, so, and then we've now we've advanced to the next shift. Um, 
So, and then we can choose another one and we just forfeit again and keep forfeiting and forfeiting. And eventually the other gangs will um, accrue quite a few objectives, but our gang won't accrue any objectives. We'll just still be empty. And you just keep doing this until um, you discover the location of one of the enemy gang's bases. Um, so then you'll get a different icon will come up like like your uh, gang like your base icon here, um, and but for the other gangs icons and that'll mean that you've got the option to attack their base, um, and by the time you do that they'll have you know quite a lot of resources in their base, um, and you can capture up to 175 uh, resources from their from their base I think or maybe even more um, in one go. So basically what you do is once that comes up with the mission to attack their base, you just go in, switch back to your real active crew that's got all your max, your good weapons and your skills and everything, click make active crew, and then you go back into your operation, you choose the base attack one, so if there's one like this, you click on that for the enemy base and attack it, and then you fight that battle normally, you don't forfeit it, you take, um, you take all of the resources out of the enemy's base, um, and then you'll have, you know, you'll have quite a few resources and they'll have um, very few. And you just, you might need to do that twice, um, attack a couple of different enemy bases because you need to get at least um, enough to win this bottom rank. Um, if you want to, um, if you want to play more matches and try to get um, a higher amount of resources, um, I, yeah, you can definitely raid uh, all the enemy bases. That's going to give you the most amount of resources for the least matches played. Um, but you might... Um, but you know you might end up having to play a few matches so the advantage of this is less matches played so instead of you know 10 hours or 15 hours of gameplay to get through a sector you can get through a sector with like maybe two or three matches and um you know it only takes you like a couple of hours of gameplay time to get through a whole sector and get the rewards um <clears throat> But there's also a way of maximizing the amount of caskets you get. So instead of getting one, two, or four, you can get like 16, 18, 20, you know, many, many more caskets than this, uh, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but the other aspect of it is that potentially your base can be discovered by the enemy teams and then the enemy can raid your base. And then if they take um, too many resources out of your base so that you fall below this threshold for the minimum to get the, the rank one sort of victory, then you won't get the rewards. So you won't get this reward and you won't get your extra rewards either. So you need to um, defend your base. So if you happen to have your, um, if you happen to have your um, sacrificial crew um, as your active crew, because you're planning on forfeiting, and then you go in here and um, and your base gets attacked because you'll you'll choose say you'll choose this one you'll go choose mission and then after that it will come up to say your base has been attacked and give you the option to defend um, and you have you would want to defend normally but you'll have the wrong crew um, uh, selected so what you can do there is Alt F4 out of the game um, I know it's a, it's pretty exploity but yeah basically you Alt F4 crash the game this is on PC and then um, and then you reload the game and you'll you'll be able to go into your crew management screen and change to your active crew before you come back in here to select your mission again. When you select your mission again, you will again have the base defense come up, it, all, it won't change, um, but this time you'll have your active crew and you'll be able to successfully defend your base. So yeah, so basically you only do either the base raids on the enemy or defend your own base. Um, if you get a defend your own base, your alt F4, change to your, your main crew and defend your base, then change back to your sacrificial crew to forfeit um, unless a base attack comes up for the enemy and then you switch back to your active crew to attack the base. Um, so that's basically the forfeit, um, the forfeit exploit. Um, now, what will happen is at the end of at the end of the sector, once all of these resources have been taken, and um, it'll say that your house is going to come and going to come soon, and you know evaluate your progress and so forth. You need to have at least this one uh, completed to get the victory. Um, and then, depending on what infamy rewards you get, you've chosen, you can actually get more um, additional uh, bonuses on top of this. So. If you go and have a look at my infamy, so I've chosen dubious contracts and persistent haggler as well as the salvaging benches. Um, and this, this combination just allows you to get infinite money by hiring leaders and then selling them again, selling, uh, laying them off and selling their equipment. Um, so you can basically just make as much money as you need that way. It's a different, another exploit. Um, so I always take those, but for this for this um, uh, forfeit exploit, these two uh, infamy exploits, uh, infamy sorry choices are the best ones to maximize your rewards because you'll get um, this one. So this one gives enemy ferocity gives the enemy extra fifty percent damage. 
um, which is quite a bit, but the enemy AI is quite weak, so you can st it's still quite manageable, even on deadly, I think. Um, but that, but it, more importantly, it gives you five extra loot caskets when you complete um, the operation. And this one, enemy tenacity, gives the enemies um, an extra 100 hit points, um, but it also gives you another five loot caskets. So the reason why this is so good for this exploit is that instead of fighting eight missions against the increased strength AIs and then getting 10 extra caskets, you only fight like two or three missions and get the 10 extra caskets. Um, and then, um, so if you do, um, if you get the level one one, you'll get one casket from this plus 10 from your infamy rewards. Um, or if you do um, really well and get four, you'll get four plus 10, 14 caskets. Now, if you get, you only need 390 to get this um, level four, to get the four caskets from here in addition to your 10. Um, however, it seems like the higher your, um, your rating or the higher amount of objectives that you capture, um, the higher the rank that the caskets that you'll get will be. So I, I completed one recently where I just did the base, the bare minimum here, um, and I got, I can't remember exactly what I got, but I got one casket from this, plus I got my infamy, um, my infamy caskets, um, and those caskets were rank six caskets. So what, and in the caskets you'll get one weapon and then also a bunch of other assorted consumables and random items. Um, and the weapons in the rank six caskets were um, rank five weapons, although all of the ones I got were rank five weapons. Now, Yarek, the guy who, um, who actually explained this exploit to me initially, he, um, he did one where he, he actually didn't use the, um, the forfeit exploit as much, and he actually um, got accrued a heap of resources. I think he said he got 700 total resources. And then when he got his um, 14 crates, because he had the um, plus 50% damage, plus 100% 100 health um, infamy mods on that I mentioned, these two, um, when he did that, he actually got his 14 crates, but they were rank 10 crates. So with 700 resources, he got rank 10 crates. And rank 10 crates, every single one of them had a rank six weapon in it. So one, one rank six weapon plus a bunch of other random items. Um, this is um, Yarrick's loot screen that he um, got when he f uh, f finished, his, um, finished his operation. You see 14 grade 10 operation caskets. Um, that he got from the, the getting the four here plus the other 10. Um, he also mentioned to me that another time he finished with um, 670 resources and that time he only got um, rank nine resource caskets and the rank nine ones had um, a mixture I think of rank five and rank six weapons in them instead of being all rank six. So so yeah, so if you want the rank six weapons, you actually have to um, you can't really probably can't forfeit every match. You need to do enough matches to get um, enough resources to get 700 or at least close to 700. Um, that's uh, yeah, as far as we know so far. Um, so that's pretty much it for um, how to use the forfeit exploit and how to um, how to maximize your operation loot caskets. Um, also, I was just going to say another thing about the infamy. Because of this, uh, when you're doing this forfeit method, you get a lot of uh, shift changes. So every time you forfeit a match, another shift progresses. So if you take things like this, that gives you plus six gambling to caskets restocked at the shop with every shipment. I think the shop usually gets a new shipment every two shifts. So um, since you're going to be forfeiting through a lot of shifts, you'll get six gambling caskets every couple of days. Um, and also this one, um, successful clan requests, gives you another three loot caskets. Um, so down the bottom here, you'll see there'll be a clan request. There'll be a special um, special mission that you have to get done. Um, quite often, you might not be able to get that done if you're if you're forfeiting most of the missions. But like steel goliath weapons, potentially you might be able to do that even with um, most of your matches forfeited. And instead of getting one casket, you'll get um, you'll get four caskets. Um, so that's just another way to or another way to sort of um, get a bit of extra reward out of that. Um, so yeah, so just to summarize, for the forfeit for the forfeit thing, you make a secondary crew with just level one guys, and you take them into um, each um, each time you go to select an operation. Initially, um, you choose the match, you load up the match, then you just forfeit the match uh, as soon as you're able to, and then um, take a loss. But um, and then once you get the option to raid an enemy base, switch back to your main crew, attack the enemy base. If your base gets attacked. Alt F4 to crash the game, reload the game, put your active crew on and defend your base. That's how you get the forfeit. 
Um, and um, to maximize the amount of crates, you take enemy ferocity level three um, and enemy tenacity uh, level three. Um, they don't, also you can't take multiple, well, it lets you take multiples of these. It bugs out and it doesn't uh, let you, give you the rewards. So if you take two of these at level three, it'll just um, take whatever the lowest one is in the list. So if you have like three, two, and one levels of ferocity, you'll just use the one, the bottom one. Um, so yeah, it's best just to take one instance of each of these at the highest level that you can get. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys, um, hope that's helpful to you guys. If you want to um, try out all of the top rank weapons and get your gangs all ready for PVP, um, that's probably the most effective way to do it at the moment. Um, I think it probably is a bit of an exploit. It's probably not the way the game's intended to play. So they might, um, they might patch it and change it a little bit um, later on. Um, but um, I imagine they'll be quite busy fixing the crashes and stuff like that for a while. So I imagine this exploit will still be available for quite a while. Um, anyway, uh, thanks guys. Catch you next time.